Talk to me. You don't look like you're ready for this. You sure you're gonna be cool doing your thing in all this frickin' rain? I mean, I never seen you do it before. How should I know? I can't go too fast in the rain. So I guess I'll just drive normally to start and see what happens. I can't say yet if I'm gonna be fast or slow out there under these conditions. All I know is I'm gonna take it easy, because if I crash this car, my dad's gonna cut off my head and use my skull for an ashtray. Here's the countdown, boys. Five! Four, three, two, one, go! That sucks. The S14 got off to a faster start. It's not even a turbo. He's got a two liter in there. Yeah, but it's not just the size of the engine. It's the clutch technique he used on the wet surface. No wonder he's going into this race with so much confidence. That wasn't the 8-6's best start, but I think he meant it that way. He knows he can make up time later on, so what's the point of rushing at the top? Crap, he took the lead! His S14's got some serious power, and he could totally widen the lead to the point that we'd never catch up! Looks like this hill's a bit too much for an 8.6. Sure, but from here to the finish, it's all downhill, and that puts the 8.6 at the advantage. Dude's got some of the most killer downhill technique I've ever seen. So don't count him out just yet. Yeah, hello? Ah, uh, hey there, bro. So the 8-6 and Kenta are battling in the rain, huh? They sure are. You should see Kenta. His confidence is through the roof. But this is the 8-6, and I know it won't be easy for him. I would agree. No matter how you look at it, drifting through corners at low speed is an entirely different animal. At least when compared to normal race conditions. Yeah, I know. And it can get really tricky when you have to floor the gas pedal to fully complete the drift. While you can rely on tire grip for compensation on a dry surface, it's severely limited when you're driving in the rain. You have to be real careful and shift the car's weight while using precise timing. Otherwise, you'll lose control and find yourself wrapped around a tree. It makes me wonder if those two really know what they're in for. Wet conditions can be hell on the car and the driver. We'll see. <laughs> those two, huh? Like you really even care. The only thing you're interested in is the H6. Not that I blame you. really starting to come down now. The guy driving for the Red Suns is from Akagi, meaning neither he nor Takami have the home turf advantage tonight. 
The big wild card is the rain. Hold on. Does he even know how to drive in the rain? Well, I'm sure he knows how. I mean, he makes his deliveries every day. This couldn't be the first time he's ever gotten behind the wheel of that car when it's been raining. Duh, of course. That makes perfect sense. Which means, Takami's technique, it should be just as effective in the rain. I'm not gonna let you catch up with me. Time to widen the gap some more. I'm so good in the rain, I can outrace some of the best turbochargers around. Whoa! He almost started fishtailing! The S14's running fast in these wet conditions. One of the hardest things to do in an FR is controlling it when it's wet out. Hmm. The only place it ever wants to spin is to the side and not forward. Huh? I don't believe what I just saw. That drift he just made was downright scary. I've got chills running down me. <laughs> Is this really the same dude I've been plotting to break out of his daydreaming funk? I thought he was gonna take it easy on me, not being strapped in back here. But he's driving like a freaking maniac. Is this how he normally is? Plus, I can't see Jack out of this window with all the rain coming down, so how the hell is he seeing the road? I feel like we're flying through a black hole or something. What's with that god-awful ringing? I can't take this anymore! I know what's going on. He is a human. He's a freaking monster. This is epic. Man, I'm feeling good. I'm in the zone. Before the night's over, I'm gonna be the one to finally dethrone the 8-6 and end his winning streak. Not Ryosuke or Keisuke, but me. I'll be the new king. Huh? What the? The 8-6 is right on my tail. That's impossible. Is something wrong with my car? I don't get it. We've only gone through a couple of corners in the downhill, so how'd he catch up to me? This can't be happening. He caught me, and it was nothing to him. It's as if the rain didn't make a difference at all. But this isn't over yet. Apart. 
Six is making a move. Initial D. Initial D. He's doing it. He's passing the S14. how easy he made that look? No way! You're kidding! Oh, dude, this was so worth waiting in the rain for. Totally. I can't even keep up. He keeps increasing his lead after every damn turn. I'm just not getting that kind of speed through the corners. My car specs bury his in every way. So what's making the difference? I thought the rainy conditions were supposed to be to my advantage. Got it. Keep me posted. I just got a call from the halfway point. The 8 6 passed your guy and is now in the lead. Okay. I guess Kenta never really stood a chance after all. But your guy wasn't a complete disaster. The 8 6 is unstoppable even when it's pouring down rain. It was obvious before the race even started. Weather conditions play no part in gaining the advantage on him. Now it's your brother's chance at the throne in the new king. How you doing today? Welcome! Good afternoon. Anyway, at least we know he's just as dominating racing in the rain as he is when it's dry out. I'm telling you, dude, that boy's becoming more and more like a true racer every day. You saw how he accepted the S14's challenge last night like it was nothing. And it looks like his stage even phase is over for now. I guess our operation was a smashing success, wouldn't you say, fellas? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta admit, Itsuki, I'm a little jealous of you, you lucky bastard. Being able to experience a rainy downhill battle from inside his car must have been awesome. It flipped my lid! I must have had my life flash before my eyes like a million times! Plus, he told me to sit in the back, so I was being thrown around like a rag doll! Huh? He made you sit in back? Hmm? Did he say why? No, I don't think Takami even knew why he said it. He was acting loony the whole night. Surprise, surprise. Whoa, whoa. Let's back up. You got it all wrong, dude. I know why he put you back there. You do tell us! Yeah, spill it already! <laughs> it's quite simple. <laughs> well, because... Out, out with, with it! it! Itsuki's annoying. <laughs> it's gotta be frustrating as hell having Itsuki whining and crying next to you while you're trying to focus on the road. <laughs> I can totally see that happening. <laughs> all right. Lay off. <laughs> Jeez, talk about a couple of boneheads. That's not the reason why. He had Itsuki sit in the back because he was hoping to get some extra tire traction. And knowing Takami, he probably knew that intuitively. He doesn't strike me as the kind of kid to read that in a book. Thank you for your business. That boy. There is just no telling how much better he'll get over Takami! time. Who's that? It looks familiar. It's Takumi's girlfriend. His girlfriend? <laughs> so I don't really have a reason for coming by. I was just riding around in the area and decided to stop. Yeah? 
Is this a bad time? Uh, no. He looks like a little puppy in love. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you probably have stuff you've got to do, so I better head out. Uh, sure. Daydreaming about her again is raising her will be totally screwed. You better do something about what it. What do you expect me to do? It's not like there's a bunch of other races lined up for us to check out. Well, we sure as hell can't have him spacing out when the big showdown against Ryosuke is next week. We need his focus on the you race. You think I don't know that? Hey, Takane! How about you and I go for a spin in Akina tonight? What a mess. Must be from all the rain last night. Tofu shop. Yeah? I'm sorry, who is this? It's me. Been a while, hasn't it, Bunta? Hey, Suchia, sure has. So what's the occasion? Let me guess, you're in the hospital after one of your crashes. Don't you wish. Hey, so I've been hearing a lot of chatter recently about your son. He's supposed to be quite the prodigy. Know anything about that? <sighs> what? This Saturday? And it's against Ryosuke Takahashi. Should I know who that is? Are you serious? Even my people know who he is. Word is, he's the best street racer in all of Gunma. And he's racing my son, huh? So let's hear it. Who do you think's gonna win? I have no idea. We'll have to find out Saturday with everyone else. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I'm curious to see this drift your son got from you. That's all I hear about. That was years ago. We need you. Be right there. Gotta run, Bunta. You know, Itsuki, you've only been driving a few minutes, and I can already tell you've improved. No way, you really think so? Thanks, dude! <laughs> that means a whole hell of a lot coming from a champion like you, talking to me. I haven't told anyone yet, but I've been working on my grip run. It's badass. 
Here's a technique I came up with all on my own. It's taken countless hours of practice to master it. You're the only person I'm willing to show. Uh... Here it is! Illusionary Hell and Tear! <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's my bad. Funny, I didn't have any trouble at all with it yesterday. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> that one was incredible breaking! Wait, Itsuki, let's take a break, okay? I'm so glad I can relax now that you're out of your silly daydreaming crap. I just hope it doesn't come back, know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Hold on a second. What's that supposed to mean? I wasn't daydreaming. Well, whatever it was you were doing, you were acting all... whatever. Don't you get what I'm saying, man? Or do I have to spell it out? Better spell it out. <laughs> Seriously, it makes no sense to me. What could you possibly need after the race that's so important? Fact is, you don't need anything. You're already fast as it is, so it's not like you're gonna have to prove yourself again. Dude, I'm not that fast. Are you crazy? Yes, you are. Remember, you're still undefeated. I'd say that's pretty fast. I don't know. All I know is my whole future is in front of me, and I have no idea where I'm heading. Talk to me, you're wasting your time. Can't you just focus on the race for now and forget the future? The race is gonna be here before you know it, dude. Ryosuke Takahashi. on the moment of truth for your fastest racer theory. Yes, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity of proving it right. So what exactly is the theory? Can you explain it for us? I'm sure you're all familiar with the term E equals MC squared, right? It's known as Einstein's theory of relativity. I've taken that premise and added my own sub-theory to it. E symbolizes the opponent's average speed throughout the race Next, from beginning on to initial end, D. while also factoring Akagi's in certain specific comet. data that may or may Don't not affect the it. average speed.